Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have just a few minutes before I go to work to do more training. It is Sunday morning. I'm not going to be working every Sunday, but today is a day to finish up training. And I wanted to, well, to finish up part of my training. Training's going to go on for a long time. Uh, I was stamping from this new stamp set, and I just love these images. These are sort of practice images, and I love these. These are some note cards that I found at the Scrap Exchange and bought them and then tea stained them, and I've been stamping on top of them. I especially love that. I think that's really pretty. So, and I love that. Anyway, I'm gonna be putting these in the fun packs. I've been working on these for so long and I just haven't, they've never made their way to the top of the huge stack of things to do. I only have, let me set this down back here. I really only have a few minutes this morning, but I did want to come out here and do a few things. Oh, look at that flower petal. I was gonna try to use those and uh, don't always have time to do everything. That's dry now, so let's move that. I just wonder if, oh, look at the color from that. There's so many things that you can do with uh, flower petals. Some of them stain and some of them do not stain. Maybe for this one, I wonder if we could get that wet again. Actually, let's cover that because I don't want to get that page wet. Let's get over to a page that has some, some blank area. There is color coming out of that. This is a, uh, I think this was a Mandevilla. So I'm just going to do that like that and press it in and we'll see what that looks like later. One of the things I wanted to do this morning is, first of all, let's change this water. I just want for this a black pen and Okay, I think my neighbor's on the other side of the yard. I came out here this morning to just put a few flowers in the journal. With maybe some scribbling. Just black ink pen. Now this is on a napkin, so I think and let's make it look like that's the back of the flower, maybe? Can we do that? Let you use that. And let's just see what kind of color we got. Oh, I like that. We're gonna let that dry first and then we will probably come back and put some more color in there. And let's just tear this page for now cover that up so it doesn't get on her and maybe do a few more flowers
I was hoping to do more of this in an unedited fashion, but I think my neighbor is cutting, I don't know what they've got out, maybe a hedge trimmer. Yeah, well, here he comes again. On this, I love to stamp. Let's lay this over it in such a way that it soaks up the excess, but not right over her face. Maybe here, let's see. Uh, I think Gracie, let me get a bigger brush. Said to tap the brush over something. Wow, those are some big splashes. That's okay though. I wonder if this will soak anything up. Ooh. That's photo paper. I like that. Photo paper is is neat. You can get some cool some cool effects and then just use it. It doesn't have to have pictures printed on it. Makes people stop and think. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. I know that was short. I just wanted to stop in for a minute. You can see me thinking about one more one more flower. But maybe I'll do that later. All right, thank you for visiting even if it's just for a minute. I will see you really soon. Bye for now.